seem to draw a very strong squad out of you. Is that an indication of Stacey Jones trying to qualify as quickly as he can? I mean, in the past, you played maybe a lot of younger players, but it seems to me that you've brought a few squads in. Well, we don't have that many players available, unfortunately, with the injuries that we picked in the last uh, two weeks. And, uh, and yeah, it's a competition that we want to take uh, very seriously against an opponent uh, that is going to make life difficult for us. And we want to start the competition the right way and, and maintain our momentum. Well, can I just ask, I think it's 29 years since Arsenal won the Europe Games competition. Is that something that's not embarrassing, but it's, it's not great for Club of Arsenal stature? haven't won anything in Europe for 29 years. Well, that's a long time. And um, I would like to be the first one to, to break uh, that uh, negative record. But uh, you have to start somewhere. And, and it's tomorrow. And they're starting to play well and uh, end the right to win the match. Um, about a year, 18 months ago, Gabriel Martinelli wasn't playing a lot for a few reasons, injuries and the Olympics as well. And I think at the time you spoke about wanting to protect him and not Overexpose him. Mm -hmm. Now that he's starting the season so well, I guess how beneficial was that choice at the time? I don't know. We just tried to make the decision based on on what we see, where the players are, at, um, the space that they have in the team, and uh, and when we believe that they are ready to step in and give the the performance and expose them where it's fair for the players as well to demand uh, certain things that at this club is going to be. Um, exposed and uh, right now you see a player with tremendous talent that is performing consistently at uh, a very high level and um, and he needs to keep doing that and keep improving. Um, Mikel, can I ask if you were surprised when you heard that uh, Thomas Tuchel had left Chelsea today? I was, yeah. It was just uh, right uh, before training session and, um, and we got the news and um, it is it's always sad uh, for any colleague in this profession um, to get fired. Um, unfortunately, we know um, how this works and um, nothing, just wishing the best of luck and, uh, and obviously not a pleasant to, to hear those news. Does that make you appreciate further the, the stability that you've been allowed to get this far in? What it makes me realize is what I always told you, that uh, we have a profession that in a big percentage at some stage this is going to happen and uh, we have to prepare for it and enjoy the journey um, and enjoy every day because you never know when that's coming. Can you clarify the situation with Smith Rowe? Because we saw here a problem maybe after the match. match yeah, he felt some discomfort again um, in an area that he's been um, dealing now for, for a few weeks and uh, he wasn't comfortable after the game and uh, he hasn't trained in the last few days, so he's out of the squad. Asked about Kieran Tierney. Um, well, you've been at the club, it's more or less been a case of when he's fit, he's played, whereas since Zinchenko's come in, that's not the case so much anymore. How has he reacted to that change in circumstances? Well, first of all, that Kieran went through a, a period of three or four months with, with the injury that he picked up and the surgery that he needed. Uh, he's come back, he's in a good place, and uh, what we want is to have competition in every position, and in his position, is is no difference. I gave him, I gave him uh, uh, my opinion about the situation, and uh, and uh, I tried to explain the reasoning um, why I thought that uh, living in that moment it wasn't the best idea, and knowing his character and and how he is, uh, that I thought that he was going to regret it. And after that, day by day, he hasn't the respect of everybody at the club. He hasn't the respect of all our supporters, and. Um, and he's been playing really well for us. Just a couple more. Um, okay, can I just ask you about Fabio Vieira? Um, he's someone obviously we do know a lot about. When yeah. was it that you first spotted him? What was it you liked about him? And, and in a way, do you think it's helped that he's actually been out of the spotlight? He's been able to ease in slowly and not had this pressure of being a 30 million player? Well, we we're looking for, um, for players that could play, especially in, in three positions. in. One in the front line, attacking me through the positions, and we were looking for the market with very specific qualities. And uh, and we, when I saw him, I really liked what I saw. I straight away, I was so convinced that he's a player is going to help us go to the next level. That he had the right 
personality and character to play um, for our club and it's been a shame because um, we detected an injury when we were doing the medical and he had no precision and everything has been delayed but um, but hopefully you're going to see a lot more of him in the next few weeks and um, and I'm sure that uh, we're going to enjoy it. Which one if you, in your opinion might be the biggest danger for Arsenal? The biggest danger is that uh, they haven't um, got the results um, that probably they expected after the season they had last year and uh, that you can see how willing they are uh, to win football matches and these are different competition, uh, different context and I expect a team that is going to be very ready tomorrow. Uh, there, there were some comments in Germany today from Bern Leno about his departure talking about mm. politics. I just wondered if you could clarify from the club's perspective what, what was the, how, how you saw that. I'm, I'm really surprised. And um, I don't know if he's talking about the politics when he was uh, starting every match or the politics when um, he wasn't playing. Really surprised about it. I just wanted to ask around that exposure. Obviously, players similar age to Gabriel Martinelli were playing a lot more football, obviously being consistent as well in that time. With the World Cup coming up as well, is there maybe a plan to give him a bit more protection in terms of minutes? We will try. Uh, if the squad uh, allows us, if performances allow us, um, we will try to do our best to, to try to manage his load and, uh, and get him on the field in the best possible condition, understanding that um, yeah, after November we have something that we have never experienced before.